Stanford University. Most of these countries in, in Africa, they get hurt both by lower yields and by um, higher prices. I think the, the main goal uh, or the main question we're trying to look at is who is really at risk from climate change? What are the specific populations in specific regions that are at risk? And in Indonesia, a large chunk of the poor population is in this category. So if you sum these up for Indonesia, you actually get uh, a net drop in poverty, whereas in Brazil you get a net increase. When you try to anticipate what happens with climate change in terms of agriculture, there's a few factors. There's one is how fast does climate actually change, and there's some uncertainty there. There's also how do the crops that are grown respond to those climate changes, and there's a little bit of uncertainty there. And there's also uncertainty in how beneficial higher atmosphere carbon dioxide levels will be, because plants do benefit from those, but there's uncertainty in how much. And so if you look at, in each of those cases, if things are a little bit better or worse than we expect, you can come up with some estimate of what an optimistic or pessimistic scenario would, would look like out to 2030. And a, a key part of that is to know that these 20 models are all some plausible representation. We're not just taking any model that gives some crazy result. We're taking models that have been fairly well established and that they have uh, a representation of the world that we think is maybe not the most likely, but it's some plausible representation. And so this study is a step in that direction of trying to, trying to develop strategies for effectively coping with climate change over the next 20 years. We're in a situation now where I think everybody is aware of climate change, and with the money flowing into it, everybody is going to be making claims on, on needing to adapt to climate change. And there's a need, I think, for having some objective way of comparing different requests for assistance or investment. And that is, the, I think, the goal of much of the science is to try to pinpoint what are the actual needs that we should be focusing on. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.